Alrighty guys, welcome to your 13th Ruby tutorial and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about expressions and comparison operators. Sounds fun, huh? Oh, it is. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is this. Say that you have a variable like A and it's equal to 3 and B and it's equal to 6. Well, did you know that you can also use these variables in expressions? And expressions are pretty much like equations. So you can use A plus B plus 10 and what Ruby's going to do is it's going to look at this as 3 plus 6 plus 10 and hopefully it comes out 19 there you go okay so simple enough I think I showed you guys that before but what I didn't show you guys is this that aside from just using variables and simple expressions you can also assign the value of a variable to other variables what the heck did I just say well let me go ahead and show you guys an example so forget about a and b in this expression and say we have some variable called d now d is equal to 33 why not so okay just remember that d equals 33 so say we have a new variable called f and we want to assign it the value of d so instead of just going ahead and writing 33 like that we can actually write it like this f equals d now since Ruby already knows that the value of 33 is stored in D whenever you set F equal to D it actually stores F equal to the value of 33 so go ahead and hit enter and now internally Ruby is gonna know that anytime you wanna write F it's the same thing as writing 33 so go ahead and just write puts F which pretty much prints out the value of F on the screen and we get 33 how awesome is that so just remember that aside from just assigning values to variables like a equals three you can also assign variables to other variables and what this would do is figure out the value on the right hand side and assign it to the variable on the left hand side now a couple of cool things that i want to talk to you guys about is something called shorthand now of course you can have a variable like g and set it equal to sixty eight and say you wanted to make an expression like g equals g plus 12. Well, what this would do is pretty much figure out everything on the right hand side first. So g equals 68. So 68 plus 12, of course, equals 80. So now this value is going to be 80 on the right hand side. So whenever you press enter, the old value of g gets overridden and the new value is 80. So that is basically how you can use an old value of a variable and set it equal to a new value of a variable using a simple expression or equation. Now a shorthand for this is whenever you want to use the old value of a variable and either add something to it or multiply, subtract something from it, you can do this. So g equals g plus 12 is the same thing as writing g plus or excuse me g plus equals 12 this is just a shorthand or a faster way to write this so just remember this one last time I'm, I'm gonna pound this in your brain g equals g plus 12 is the exact same thing as writing g plus equals 12 so now the old value of g was equal to 80 now that we add 12 to it and hit enter it's now gonna be equal to 92 do it again it's now equal to 104 do it again now equal to 116 so just remember plus equals equals this thing right here now aside from just adding the old value of g and getting a new value of g you can do the same thing with um, minus equals times equals so for example now that we have 116 say g um, multiplied I keep typing capital G g times equals 2 is gonna take the old value of g which is 116 times it by 2 and store it in the new value of g. So go ahead and press enter and we can see the new value is 232. So now that we put g on the screen, pretty much print out g, we get 232. So again, just remember the shorthands are um, plus equals, minus equals, times equals, divide equals, all that good stuff. And that is just going to save you a little time whenever you want to assign a new value to an old variable. So I know I said I was going to talk to you guys about comparison operators in this tutorial and I thought I was gonna but I'm gonna save that for the next tutorial because I want to make sure that I uh, get them all covered I just want to put that in a separate tutorial but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to add me on Google Plus don't forget to send me a million dollars and I'll see you next time